Good afternoon. It's Monday. Just got off work. And I have got my eggnog. I literally just came in the house, hugged everybody, and went to the fridge and got me some eggnog. I'm sitting on the countertop. Rumi decided to eat as soon as I started to video, so you can hear him eating. That's fine. He is chomping away. And Wade's been at home all day sick. Yep. He's not felt good. He's still in his PJs. Yep. Yeah. Which, Wade wears the same shirts all the time. So, if you notice that he has the same clothes on, we wash them. He just wears them. And I actually do this the same thing. This is lounging. <laughs> and, it, yeah, so, like, if we're at home and we just took a shower, he lounges in the same clothes. And we may not wash those every day. But, anyways, we're not dirty people. Just letting you know. We were... I was letting him watch the vlog yesterday, right before I finished it up. And <laughs> he said, I think I had the same clothes on every day this week at yeah, some point same shirt. yeah same shirt so anyways i've been trying to get him to throw that shirt away for a long time but i don't want him mad at me so i'm not gonna do it <laughs> nope. yeah so today's been good it's cold outside it actually feels like christmas actually it's colder than it normally is here on christmas so but anyways it's been a long day i have no idea what we're gonna do tonight that's for me. Um, what do you want to do tonight? Not much anything. Yeah, he's been sick all day. He hasn't felt good. We were kind of sick yesterday. Um, didn't really get to do much yesterday. We got to go to my grandmother's, and that's about it, as you guys saw. And yeah, we're probably just gonna take it easy. I have no idea what we're doing for dinner. Um, I really want Mexican, but we've had Mexican a lot the past handful of days i think we can work some and i want to go eat mexican wednesday so oh, yeah. yeah so we may eat mexican and we may just make something simple we like to have breakfast breakfast for dinner but i don't really know if i'm feeling that so i don't know my arm's hurting so i think i will we'll, we'll catch back up with you guys before the night's over since Wade is sick, he asked for chicken noodle soup, so that's what he's got. And I wanted Mexican, so chicken, um, lettuce, and Mexican food. <laughs> All tossed up. In. Good morning! I just wanted to pop in and show you guys my breakfast tacos. And I am going to have the peppermint mocha on ice this morning. So I wanted to tell you guys about it. I haven't tried it yet even though I've recommended it. <laughs> so here is my breakfast tacos. Basically it's just corn tortillas, eggs with sriracha, and goat cheese. For some reason I think this basic breakfast is so delicious. And then we have the peppermint mocha. I made this last night and said that I was going to have some for breakfast this morning. Normally I drink hot coffee in the mornings, but I've really been craving this peppermint mocha. So let me add some creamer in here and I will taste it and let you guys know. Oh yeah. That's, that's the way to drink it. I definitely recommend the peppermint mocha from Expedition Roasters on ice. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have it right here. This coffee right here, what we opened up the other day, this is what I'm drinking. And um, I recommended it last week's vlog, I think Friday when we opened it up. I, I tried it out on my lunch break. I had some of the hot coffee of this variety and I recommended later on that afternoon that you should try it on ice, that it would be a great iced coffee. Well, I hadn't tried it, so I wanted to try it in front of you guys to show you that it is, which I know you can't taste it, but I definitely 100% recommend this to be iced coffee. I'm going to love drinking this. Even though it's like 30 something degrees out and I had to wear a sweater, um, I'm going to have iced coffee for breakfast this morning. 
Well, we put off running yesterday and we put off running Sunday, but today we have to go run and I'm not looking forward to it. It's cold. As you can tell behind me, it's already dark. It's all like 520 or something. But anyways, gonna have to do it. Hopefully not run very far, but nonetheless, here we go. So it's been a couple hours since we went and ran and um, I am making cocoa and I just wrapped Christmas presents. It's funny because they don't even fit under the tree, but yeah. We actually have like fake presents under the tree um, and I'll probably just keep those there and just start stacking these presents up against this wall. So here's the cocoa. Um, realize that we have no candy canes and we have no marshmallows. So Wade says it's fine because it's just good to have just the chocolate. Oh, no, we need the other stuff. <laughs> and we got some Christmas and birthday presents wrapped up. And like I said, yeah, those are fake. And I guess they're just gonna stay there. And this guy, always so sweet. Cocoa and water, hot water. Duh. So apparently I put almond milk, Wade caught me putting the almond milk in the pan and that I knew it was going to be bad. Then I used this and I did a little cinnamon which OMG <laughs> freak out. And I did not, the recipe called for syrup for the sugar sweetener. I don't understand why that's in there either. Okay, well it's, <laughs> if you tasted it before. So I made homemade cocoa and this guy is not happy because <laughs> I didn't give him a packet uh, yeah, in water. <laughs> classed it up, put all the syrup. And... I just put a little, like I probably put a tablespoon of syrup in yours. Tablespoon of syrup. And it did call for one more thing. Oh yeah, it called for rum. So. Wade's gonna put rum in there apparently. Already added syrup, why not? Sugar, cinnamon. <laughs> Wade doesn't like when I add cinnamon to things. I try to make pancakes, I put cinnamon on it. I have to wait until after I made his. This gonna make it kind of chilled. Yeah, it's gonna be cold cocoa. I'm just gonna get you some ice and pour it on there. Oh my gosh, yeah. This is for my eggnog. I will say, I've never had alcohol in no, hot, cocoa? hot cocoa, but I've also never had syrup in it either, so. You don't know. You don't know if they put those in those packets. It ain't syrup. Tastes like a, a brownie. I want to try it. It's going to get me sleeping good. Oh boy. Let me try it. a nice little kick to it. Oh gosh. I'm sure it tastes disgusting. Mm. No, it He's tastes being pretty, funny. Pretty, it tastes pretty damn good. Okay. I'm going to try this. All right. You want to try it? Yeah. It's not warm. There's Samantha trying the spiked hot cocoa concoction. Con whatever you say it. Well, pour this on ice and it'd be great. And give me peppermint. Okay. Or candy and candy. marshmallows. Yeah. Um, it doesn't need marshmallows with this. Woo! I'd be drunk in two sips. And guys, do you love our desk right here? It's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. You should have saw right. me trying to get this cocoa out of this cabinet. <laughs> yeah. And when I was doing the weights in. You need some help? Oh, this sorry. This is gross. It's not gross. And we're watching The Crown. Yippee! Yeah. Season four. And after a glass of that, 
I'll be like that. I don't know that I can see that. Passed out on the floor. Whoa, 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 whoa. What'd you just say about your, your, your But drink? I wouldn't rather that. I just. No. What'd you just say about your, your. I don't really like this. I'd rather have eggnog. Or hot cocoa from a packet. Oh. I've made hot cocoa mixes and put them in jars. I just threw this together and it's kind of a mess. It's kind of a what? A mess. A what? A mess. <laughs> I'm about to pour this out. Yeah, it's pretty bad, ain't it? No, I can drink it like, but it's not worth it. It's not enjoyable. So holy cow. Look at Samantha's mango. Margarita. Margarita. Looks spiffy. It's delicious. We are at a brand new restaurant in our area. It's called the Cantina del Sol. And um, the people that own it actually own a chain restaurant, locally chain um, Mexican restaurant that we like. So we wanted to try this out. It is beautiful in here. Um, they have three different types of sauces. So this is the regular and this is a tomato base and this is like a spicier one. And then look at this cheese dip that they gave us. These chips are delicious um, so far. Yep. So we are going to be sharing a couple of things tonight. We've got these tamales. And then we have got a steak quesadilla. And then they added veggies for me because, <laughs> um, yeah, we just need veggies. And then they'll be bringing out our street tacos. I'll show you guys in a minute. They are chicken and steak. And um, these tamales are just your original pork. Yep. So that's going to be something new for me to try. Yeah. Well, you ate barbecue, so. Yeah, but pork's not my thing. And look at my handsome husband. <laughs> oh, it's our anniversary. I don't know if she told y'all or not. Nope. It is three years today. We got married. But it's also Mickey Mouse's birthday. Yeah, so happy birthday, Mickey. You are 92 and you're looking fabulous. 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 Okay, so here is the street tacos. We got half chicken and half steak. They look amazing. Yeah, if they're any Thing, um, as close as good as those tamales. This is gonna be great. So those yeah. tamales were fire. And that quesadilla, like that was amazing. So our waiter just told us that there is a uh, rope you can pull over there to let the kitchen staff know that they did a good job. Apparently there's a bell in the kitchen. You pull the rope, it rings. So we're just gonna ring this mother. Ring yeah. it hard, because it was really good. Very much enjoyed it. Had great service. Um, yeah, and it's a brand new restaurant. They opened up Two maybe, weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. So, and it's beautiful in here. We're gonna try to show you a little bit but um, there's people eating, so we're not gonna try to interfere their space. We'll show you guys next time we come because I am pretty sure we will be back very soon. Ring the bell. You wanna ring it? Yeah. Ring it. Ring it, ring it, ring it. <laughs> hey, baby, you wanna go on a walk? Hey. Are we going on a walk, buddy? Hold on. Hey! <laughs> we just got home, and on our way home, we decided that we were going to take Remy on a walk 
So we're about to go on a nice, dark, chilly walk this afternoon. Eat. Uh, we ate a lot of food, so we're going to walk that off and um, enjoy our puppy um, and the last little bit of our anniversary. Okay, so we knew when we bought this camera that there were some focusing issues um, and that there was a firmware to fix a problem. And we haven't updated the firmware yet, uh, but today since I was home and had some time to do it, I decided to go ahead and put it on the drive, upload the firmware to hopefully fix this focusing issue that we've been having with the camera. And with playing around with it after it, it updated, it seems like it worked. I hope it did. We'll find out definitely more as we record, but uh, really excited to see the updated and most current update to our camera. Well, here we are early in the morning on a walking trail, taking Remy for a nice walk before, uh, before work. So, and actually it doesn't feel that bad out here, does it? I'm cold, <laughs> but it's tolerable. Yeah, I mean, we just got on hoodies and sweatpants, so it's, it's not that bad. And once we start moving, I'm sure we'll feel a little bit better. We just got out of the truck, so. Yeah, so we're gonna take him on this little walk on this trail and then um, hit up some Chick-fil-A, hopefully. So I am so happy right now because we got to go to Chick-fil-A and um, since we moved away from Tupelo, I don't get to eat Chick-fil-A as often as I used to, which is a bummer. Um, so going to Chick-fil-A is like a, it's like a surprise trip for me, it's exciting and enjoy it. But uh, right now, Samantha went into Kroger because she, she ran out of the, uh, so delicious eggnog and she has to have it so she went in there since it was right next door to go grab some but again so excited that's the back so excited about chick-fil-a and uh i can't wait to start smashing this stuff and you see gallister and i are dressed identical pants shirt hats different but still the same but anyways i'm showing him the computer because he's the first time he's seen it and we don't have internet, so I was just kind of showing him how it's touch screen. And of course it pulls the, the Google homepage up and then I just hit YouTube. It didn't matter. Of course, no internet. And then he says, hold on, let me show you something. So then he tells me to hit the space bar. And then this happens. There's a freaking game that you can play when you don't have internet. Awesome, look who's home. <laughs> All right, so we're fixing to show her what McAllister showed me that it's kind of blew my mind. All right, so go ahead and turn the computer on. I just pull up the internet like we have it and just click on whatever. Oh no, what happened there? Yeah, just click on YouTube. Now hit the space bar. What? Hit the space bar again. Hit it. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Neither did I. Oh, look at her. You got to beat my high score of 3,832. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, <laughs> killing that killing that keyboard. <laughs> This is my dirty oven. I have sprayed it down with some homemade cleaner. Sprayed the whole thing down 
and then I put baking soda everywhere and I'm just gonna let it sit and then I'm going to get um, sponges and an old toothbrush and I'm just going to clean this whole bad boy out I'm also going to do the same thing to our shower because it just needs a nice deep clean That's day cleaning like deep cleaning our house I've got the oven cleaned I've got the shower cleaned I've hand washed tons of clothes today I um, am about to do a workout I'm still doing other laundry chores um, throwing stuff in the washer and dryer and then folding it up actually I said I was about to work out I actually need to wash my the inside of my car out probably not going to tackle the outside just yet i will wait another day for that it is a beautiful day out it's actually pretty warm i have no idea what the temperature is like always but it's definitely shorts and air conditioner weather so anyways i'm gonna go tackle my car and then i'm gonna get a workout and then i'm just gonna take a shower probably bake some cookies um, as a treat for Wade when he gets home from work and just hang out. We After all of the cleaning that I got done today and Wade had to work, I thought we deserved some cookies. So we are about to eat those cookies that I showed you and we are watching Christmas movies and just relaxing because we worked hard today, correct? You think I'm right with you. Yeah. And tomorrow I have got to go to Walmart while Wade is at work. I am going to buy for three Thanksgivings, one we're hosting and two we're just bringing food to. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but I'm gonna get everything tomorrow. So, oh, that's gonna be fun. So I guess we'll just spend the rest of the night with our feet propped up, watching Christmas movies. Mm -hmm. Wade is... Christmas movie out. <laughs> so he's playing on his phone. And I probably eat cookies and drink eggnog. Yeah. Wade's not going to because he says that's gross. He'll eat the cookies though. Yes, I'll eat the cookies for sure. You hear that? <laughs> marshmallows candy cane but Wade requested some packet cocoa with some hot water from the Keurig and that is exactly what he got so we're about to hang out and drink on this I know you didn't get to see much of our day you saw us drinking our coffee this morning kind of enjoying each other and then Wade had to work and I edited the video to where I can just end it here and upload that because you know we don't have the internet so we're having to spend a lot of hours just doing that so I need to end this now. Um, I went shopping, went to the mall, went to Sam's, went to Walmart, got all three Thanksgivings and for the week um, food ready so I think that 
we are set for that and yeah we're just gonna get everything ready for Thanksgiving we've got I've got a three-day work week and then I'm off Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday and then I work <clears throat> Tuesday Wednesday and Friday <laughs> there you go so we get um we have three more working days this week and then we get to enjoy the Thanksgiving holiday so and we're gonna take you guys obviously along so you'll see that next week hope y'all have a wonderful week Bye. Uh, peace.